In this tutorial, we're going to find the eigenvectors of the 2 by 2 matrix A, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. I'll start by looking at uh, the definition of uh, an eigenvector. If we non zero vector satisfying the equation A minus lambda i n multiplied by the vector x is equal to the zero vector, is uh, called an eigenvector of uh, the matrix A. In this case, we are given our A is a 2 by 2 matrix, and therefore the I M there will be the identity 2 by 2 matrix. And uh, the vector X there will be a vector, a column vector with uh, two entries. And uh, the zero vector there will be a column vector with uh, two zeros. So if we substitute our given matrix 1, 2, 3, 2 into that equation appearing on the right there, we would have 1, 2, 3, 2 minus lambda multiplied by the identity 2 by 2 matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by the column vector x and we write it as, as entries x1 and x2 equals to the zero vector which has uh, two elements, zero, zero. In a previous tutorial, we found that uh, the eigenvalues of uh, this matrix were lambda 1 equals to 4, lambda 2 equals to minus 1. I'll include a link to this video where we solved to find those eigenvalues if you have not seen it uh, before. So for each of uh, those eigenvalues, we are going to find an eigenvector. So what we do is uh, we look at uh, the first eigenvalue there, lambda 1 equals to 4, and substitute it into the formula that we have there. And if you put lambda equals to 4 there, what it was uh, resulting is multiplying that uh, identity matrix by 4. So we'll have fours on the diagonal, and we'll be subtracting from that uh, given matrix A. So we we'll have uh, one minus four, and it will give us a minus three, and the two minus four will give us a minus two. And that equation will then become minus three, two, three minus two multiplied by the vector x is equal to the zero vector. Now what we have to do is uh, to use uh, matrix multiplication. We know that uh, for matrix multiplication, we multiply row by column. So for the first row multiplied by that column vector x1, x2, we will have minus 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 0. For the second uh, row, which is 3 minus 2, we multiply it by that column vector there x1, x2, and it will give us 3x1 minus 2x2 is equal to 0. At this point, let me now number those equations. Equation number 1, equation number 2. Those two equations, 1 and 2, basically they are just one and the same thing. Because if you multiply 1 by minus 1, it will give us equation number 2. So it's just one and the same equation in this case. For me, equation 1, we can write x2 in terms of x1. So from equation 1, we see that x2 is equal to 3 over 2x1. When finding eigenvectors, it is uh, convenient to write uh, all the other variables in terms of uh, the first variable x1. So that's why I wrote x2 in terms of x1 there. And if we set x1 to be alpha, where alpha is a real number, we get that our eigenvector x there. So from the equation that I've highlighted, our eigenvector x at uh, elements x1, x2. So I'll write x1 is equal to x1, x2. But in this case, we are saying that x is equal to alpha and x2 is equal to 3 over 2x1, but x1 is alpha. 
So we would have alpha 3 over 2 alpha when we have substituted x1 is equal to alpha and x2 is equal to 3 over 2x1. And we can factor out the alpha since it's common on both elements. And when we factor out, we would have alpha 1, 3 over 2. What we have there is uh, all the other vectors are uh, scalar multiples of uh, that vector 1, 3 over 2. So that vector 1, 3 over 2 is the one that we call the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 equals to 4. So what you are having there is that the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 equals to 4 is 1. 3 over 2. So we have obtained the first linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to 4. We now move on to looking for the vector corresponding to lambda 2. So we substitute lambda equals to minus 1 into the formula there. And if we substitute a minus 1 there, what will happen is we would have a minus 1 on the diagonal there. And uh, it will result in us having 1 plus 1 on the first element and 2 plus 1 on the second element on the diagonal. So the result will be 2, 2, 3, 3 multiplied by the column vector x1, x2 is equal to the 0 vector 0, 0. And by matrix multiplication, a row by column, the first row by the column vector, it will give us 2x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 0. And then for the next one, it will be 3, 3 multiplied by that column vector, and it will give us 3x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 0. Let me now number those equations, equation number 3 and equation number 4. Again, in this case, we see that uh, these equations are just the same. Also, if we divide by 2 for the equation 3, we we'll see it will be x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. And also equation number 4 would give the same result x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 when we divide by 3. So from equation number 3, we get that x2 is equal to minus x1. If we set x1 equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number, we have our vector x, which has elements x1, x2, will be equals to alpha minus alpha since x1 is alpha and x2 is minus x1 and we can factor out the alpha there and when we factor out the alpha we will have 1 minus 1. So what we'll be having is all the other vectors are scalar multiples of the vector 1 minus 1. Therefore the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to minus 1 is 1 minus 1. So in summary, what you are having is for the matrix A, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, for the eigenvalue lambda equals to 4, the linearly independent eigenvector is 1, 3 over 2. And for the eigenvector lambda equals to minus 1, the linearly independent eigenvector is 1 minus 1. If you have any questions, you can uh, let me know in the comment section.